Hello guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Sense. It's a PF Sense box. So if you guys are familiar with that open source uh, firewall, you should be good. So I was able to pwn this box yesterday and I wanted to make a video on it. I thought it was pretty cool. The concepts were pretty awesome. And um, you could try this if you have a PF Sense box at home to see if you are able to compromise this box. So let's go ahead and start out with an Nmap scan. I already did the scan. So if I do an LS in my Sense, if I cat sense.txt, this is my Nmap scan just to save some time because my other video, I did my Nmap scan and it took forever. So we have port 80 and port 443. So we have open SSL. So it's light TPD 1.4.35. We can take this, we can copy this, put it off to somewhere else, keep it in some notes for uh, later use. So what I wanna do, I wanna try to just copy this, go out to a new browser, paste this. I wanna do HTTPS and see if it works, and I'm able to get there. We don't know the username and password. We can go ahead and give us a try with like admin, admin. That didn't work. Maybe we can do like admin, whoops, if I can spell and move my mouse, admin, maybe password. That doesn't work. And this is all the things that I tried, right? And then I tried admin, and then I tried PF sense. It didn't work. So after some time, I what I did, I went, went out and did like a dirt buster. So let's go ahead and clear this so I can do from a clean slate. So let's just go go buster. So what I did, I'm, I wanna explain exactly what I'm doing here. Let's make this a little larger and bring this over a little bit more so I can explain what I'm doing. Uh, let's do right there. Okay, or right there. So right now I'm gonna do GoBuster with a directory, word list that I made. I just made this because, you know, I went through the sec lists and I found the, um, the directories. Like I said, I pwned it yesterday. So instead of going through all that craziness, waiting, I made my own word list with, with the words that are needed. And we're gonna use a URL of HTTPS uh, colon slash slash our IP address. We're going to do a dash n and dash x for the extension of .txt because we're going to look for .txt um, files. And then we're going to do a threshold of 50 and see if we can do find source code of 200. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit enter. Obviously, it's very fast for me because I was able to find these two files that reside in my box or in my word list, I'm sorry. So what we can do is copy this and let's go up back up to the login and instead of index.php, we can cancel this out and then we could paste it and we'll look at the change log, okay? So here we have an issue. There was a failure in updating the firewall. Manual patching is therefore required for you know two out of three vulnerabilities have been patched. The remaining patches will be during the next win, uh, the text, uh, the maintenance window, right? So what does that mean? That just pretty much means like, okay, maybe they're gonna patch it later, right? And the next one is system users. So this might be beneficial for us, right? So let's copy this, go back and remove changelog.txt and put system users. Okay, so support ticket, please create the following user. So a row hit and then company defaults. So I'm guessing someone created this user and the company defaults, this might be for uh, PFSense, right? So let's go ahead and copy this and we can go ahead and just open up a new browser. I'm gonna open up a, I wanna duplicate that. And if you aren't familiar, you know, let's actually, let's zoom that out a little bit. So if you aren't familiar with PFSense, so you can just go out to Google. I'm pretty familiar with them because I use one at home. So you can just do PFSense, 
default password. So you can look at default passwords for PFSense. You can you know see what they're using, admin password. Uh, let's see, see if there's a, a full list. So the default password here, let's make this a little larger. The default password here is PFSense. And this is what we tried, right? Admin PFSense. And that didn't work for us. So now we can use PFSense We can copy that, go back to the login and we can use Rohit and then the password of PFSense and bada bing, we are in. Okay, let's make this a little larger. So now we're in here. Now what do we do? We can look at the version number. We can see, you know, it has a WAN link, has some DNS servers. You know, you can look at the firewall logs. You know, I guess you can't really look at much because I think it's just, it's just this. So it's not really uh, much of anything. You look at the interfaces and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's just go back to system. Okay, so what we can do here, we can look at the version 2.1.3 release and we can see if there's any vulnerabilities out there that are associated with this, you know? So let's just do that. Let's just go here and copy this. Let's just go out back out to Google and let's do this PFSense exploit, okay? We can see that we can pull down some uh, command execution. We can see this is probably a way to get root access. We can see, let's see what else. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's just see what else they, they have here. Okay, so remote code execution. So it looks like some good stuff, okay? So what I'm gonna do, this is what, the way I compromised it. I, I wanna leave this up for now. We can leave that up and let's clear this out and let's load up MSF console. And we can do here, we can do search exploit, not, um, do search exploit PF sense. And we can see ours is 2.1, right? It was 2.1.3. So we can look in here, we got 2.1.4, 2.1, you know, just 2.1, I thought I'd see that. So we can leave this off to the side for now. And let's just search in right here, PFSense. Uh, let's I try to make it bigger so you guys can see, but then it always messes me up. All right, so we know that it's gonna use uh, injection, right? It's from what we Googled and researched. So what we're gonna use here is the exploit right here, since it is excellent. So I wanna use number one, okay? And let's clear that. Let's do options, okay? So we have some settings that we need to fill in. We can do the R host. So set R host, and my R host is 10 dot, oh, I forgot. And copy that. Okay, cool. And then let's do show options again. So we see that our host is configured. So the, the password is pfsense. The username though is not admin. Our username is gonna be Rohit or whatever. So we're gonna do set user, username Rohit. Okay, and then everything else Let's see, let's do show options, make sure that's good. And the next thing we need to do is set in the L host. So set L host, if I can spell. I wanna put ton zero because, whoops, ton zero. Uh, show options now. So we have our password set. We have our remote host, which is the firewall. We have the port, we wanna go over 443. SSL is true because it is using SSL certificate. We have the username of Rohit. So I think everything else looks good to go. And we have our L host here. So let's hit exploit. See if we get any magic to happen. Bring this over here now. 
All right, looks like we have a session. So it looks like we are in that machine. We'll give it a second to actually give us some interpreter shell. We'll give it in. Let's just see if, uh, oh, there we go. All right, so let's do sysinfo for an example. So we can see sysinfo. We can see it's a pfsense local dot local domain. It's a pfsense free BSD. Uh, we can see all that good information, you know? So say for example, we wanna see who is logged in. We can get the get UID for the identifier and we are root. So we are good to go. So now we can just do PWD, see where we reside. And let's just CD to home because it's a Linux box. So if we do an LS, we see row who, row hit. So we just go row hit, LS, user.txt. So let's cat user.txt. And there goes our first flag right here. You would take this, copy it. And let's go back here, submit a flag. I already did this yesterday, so I don't think it's gonna let me do it again. Nope, it gave me an error. So that's good. So that's the user flag, all right? So the same thing we need to do for root. So we just do, we can actually just cat, because we know what it is, right? Root, root.txt. So we don't waste more time. And that's the root flag. Copy that and then paste it. And that concludes the video. And that's how you root the PFSense hack the box machine. So I hope you guys got, you know, some informative information you guys learned from this machine and just walk through. You know, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up, leave any questions below. Thank you so much for checking it out. And until next time, have a good one.